another day of warm sunshine and it's set to be the hottest day of the year so far but changes afoot as the humidity builds the risk of thunderstorms increases i'll have all the details of that and more live from salt dean lido here in brighton about 27 degrees which is significantly warmer than it normally is for all of the swimmers but it means it's warm enough for me so i'm tempted I mean, tempted doesn't mean it's going to happen. I'm tempted. Uh, but weather, yes. People talked about the weather this weekend, the football. The other thing that happened this weekend, of course, was the G7 summit. A really high at the agenda was climate change. And at the end of it, the leaders put forward their pledges for what they are going to do. They're set to limit warming to one and a half degrees Celsius, cut emissions to net zero by 2050, half them by 2030, pledge more money, and also to protect 30% of our land and oceans. Why is this so important? Well, so David Attenborough, as he always does, spoke so eloquently to tell everybody why. And that's why action needs to happen now and straight away. And with everything that happened this weekend, there is certainly more hope for the future. But weather-wise, yes, the sun is shining here this morning and there is more of the same for the rest of the week, but not for everybody. Big changes afoot as the humidity builds, weather fronts try to battle in, thunderstorms the name of the game later on this week but for today England and Wales dry hot and sunny and temperatures will climb up to 29 degrees Celsius that would make it the warmest day of the year so far but Scotland and Northern Ireland cloudier a weak weather front brings patchy rain this morning it slowly slips into northern areas of England the winds pick up for the north of Scotland sunshine and showers move in so it turns a lot cooler and fresher here the outlook is for that all to move southwards tonight into tomorrow so slightly fresher not quite as warm tomorrow Tomorrow, but Wednesday onwards as the humidity builds. Watch out for those thunderstorms, Charlotte. Laura, thanks very much. We'll see you. Good morning to you. We are at Salt Dean Lido where it's just so inviting after this hot weather lately. I've been in the paddling pool. Places like this up and down the country have been so busy and we're just on the edge of the seaside as well. So whatever you are doing to cool down, you will need to today and actually for much of this week as the hot weather continues, but not for all of us. Now the jet stream stays to the north of the UK, dragging up warm air, but as weather fronts battle in through this week northern areas turn cooler with the risk of rain and in the south as the humidity builds this gliding air means the risk of thunderstorms increases and they could be intense on Wednesday night into Thursday but this is how things look for today lots of fine weather lots of sunshine to start the day England and Wales barely a cloud in the sky where it's a humid start to the day but Scotland and Northern Ireland cloudier with a weather front bringing outbreaks of rain and it's that that moves southwards introducing some fresher air as we head through the day today. So the north of Scotland will brighten up with some sunny skies and some scattered showers. Southern Scotland, northern England cloud over with some patchy rain, but in the south with the sunshine, temperatures up to 29 degrees Celsius, and that would make it the warmest day of the year so far. But let's take a look at our seven day outlook where your weekend is always in view. For the north of the UK, Scotland, Northern Ireland, and the far north of England, Temperature wise, we can see it's around about average. Actually, it's been so warm, but there's a big west east divide as we head through the next few days. Temperatures tend to tail off a little before warming up again as we head into the weekend. Percentage chance of rainfall higher for the next few days with weather fronts battling in, but then it turns drier as we head through to next week and most of the wet weather in the form of showers by the end of the week. But fortunes further south for England and Wales for the next seven days, those temperatures remain way above average. These are the average highs it could be later on this week up to 30 degrees but maybe some areas peg back at around about 18 around the coast percentage chance of rainfall very tricky but when those thunderstorms arrive later on this week it will be morning high. richard i'll just key you like this heading. Good morning to you. I am at Salt Dean Lido here on the south coast in Brighton. This is the only grade two listed Lido in the whole of the UK. A wonderful history here, established in 1938. Well, it went here, ready to take a dip, but they'll be surprised because it's been so warm. The water actually 27 degrees, much warmer than the 22 degrees it normally is. But I tell you what's warming up the weather as well. Today, the temperatures could reach in the southeast 29 degrees. And if it does, that would make it the warmest day of the year so far. England and Wales, like the weekend, barely a cloud in the sky, staying dry and fine. But Scotland and Northern Ireland, a weather front moves in. It brings with it cloudier skies, outbreaks of rain, windier conditions in the north with some scattered showers and temperatures pegged back and a fresher day ahead for many tomorrow. Welcome back to Good Morning Britain. The feet are in. I am at Alido um, on the south coast 
and it is absolutely beautiful. The water is warm. It's normally about 22 degrees. It is 27 because the weather has been so warm lately. Many people will be heading to Lido's beaches, many areas to cool off in this hot weather, which is set to continue. And today's top line, 29 degrees is our top temperature, which would make it the warmest day of the year so far. But a real roller coaster this week because it's not warmth and sunshine for all of us all week. Weather fronts moving in. And today one is across Scotland and Northern Ireland. It brings with it cloudy skies, outbreaks of rain and winds in the northwest picking up as well with some scattered showers moving in with some fresher air for Scotland and Northern Ireland. So temperatures pegged back into the high teens, but it's the south where we have the sunshine. I wonder where we went then. Uh, with 29 degrees, our top temperature. Tomorrow, as the weather front slips southwards, a little more cloud, a slightly fresher day ahead. Temperatures pegged back to the mid 20s for the heat and humidity build into Wednesday with thunderstorms arriving. Lido. Lido. Yeah, I'd say Lido. Yeah, okay. Let us know. Tell so us. So I actually, I actually have an expert who can tell us. Come and tell us quickly. This is not planned. Um, yeah. I have an expert from the Lido, he is the historian, and he will tell you the history about the Lido. So, take it away, is it Lido or Lido? Well, actually, it is Lido, <laughs> uh, because it comes from uh, Lido de Venezia in Italy. Uh -huh. And in the 1920s, when it was very fashionable amongst the bright young things, the flappers, to go to this very trendy area in northern Italy, um, the British thought, when they started uh, making their outdoor pools, let's grab some of that name and make our pool sound a little bit more exotic. Okay, wonderful. So, uh, so correctly, it, it is Lido. All right. Yep. Uh, but if you're a bit more common like what I am, it's, it's Lido. Okay. So, uh, that, that's it. Yes, I am in the water. I mean, just in the water. And we've now established, yes, that historically the origins are Lido. That's where we are. And it's the perfect place to be on what is set to be the hottest day of the year so far. Headline temperature today, 29 degrees Celsius because the jet streams to our north and warm air is moving up from the south. But weather fronts are battling in and one makes progress today for Scotland and Northern Ireland. A bit cloudy here this morning. It slips its way southwards. So Northern England, the Midlands expect a little more cloud by this afternoon. Scotland and Northern Ireland as a result, a fresher afternoon today. So we're talking 14 to 18 degrees with sunny skies and some scattered showers. But sticking with the warmth and sunshine in the south, highs of 29. UV levels remain high and very high. Slightly less warm tomorrow, humidity builds midweek with thunderstorms too. Good morning to you. I'm at Salt Dean Lido. I've taken one extra step in. I'm actually not quick enough to join the, the swimmers in the slow lane here, but maybe later on when no one else is looking. But weather-wise, this is the perfect place to come for a refreshing dip and what is set to be the warmest day of the year so far. Top temperatures were forecasted for England and Wales, 29 degrees with the sunshine, but a very different looking day ahead for Scotland and Northern Ireland. Fresher with cloudier skies this morning, clearing south with sunny skies and a few scattered showers. The highest here, only 14 or 15 degrees, guys.